Hi guys, so today I am wanting to use the <laughs> Create a Card dies. This is the Be Fabulous. So I got these on HSN. I still have the packaging here. Um, it has an auto ship delivery option that I signed up for. I think it starts in February. So the next um, thing they'll send is a cupcake shaped card, which I might skip because I have other things that are cupcake shapes and I I think I already have like a cupcake shaped card, not to lie, from um, Stephanie Bernard, I feel like. So anyway, uh, I might skip that one. The next one is a teapot one, which is similar to the little teapot one I already have. I don't know where I put it. Um, the other teapot one I have is a smaller die. It's also Crafter's Companion, it's super cute. But the point of this other one is that the whole card will be the shape of that die. And they're very similar, but the other one I think is larger, the one that's gonna come in the auto ship. And then after that, there's like a flower pot one, which is cute, but also again, I feel like I already have a flower pot card die. But supposedly the reason these are different, these credit card ones, is that they'll cut through two layers of cardstock at once to make your card. And this is an old technique. They didn't do anything to this die to make it special like, oh well when you go to cut it, maybe it doesn't cut at the top so that it's, it makes a card. No. <laughs> it still has the lines at the top so if you do not do this right, it'll cut through both layers and you just have two dresses. So you have to put it right on the edge of your card where it's bent or uh, folded, right? Which is what you do with any die. You can take any die in the world and do the same thing. Um, you just have to keep a little piece of the die off of the edge, right? So it doesn't cut all the way through. And that's very typical and that's, I mean, literally I'm trying to find dies I can show you, but I, I, you can do it. You can do it with any die, any shape die. So that to me it does not make this any more special than any other die. But she says, oh, you can't do that with any other die to cut through two thicknesses. It's like, yeah, you can. We've been doing that for years, right? If you have like a circle die and you just want to make a circle card, but that flaps, that... Uh, opens up at the top. So maybe I'll show you that real quick just so you understand and we'll see maybe the difference because supposedly these are thicker so that uh, you can cut through both. Um, and then I was watching the video again right now because I'm like I really don't know what to do with it. There's like shoes but the shoes don't go like under the dress so you're supposed to put it on top of the dress which is kind of weird. Um, so even though I think it's super cute I still have some reservations. And um, and then the guy Adam's like oh yeah why? I mean you have to get it. This is like no money. No money. It was 20 bucks right uh, at the time. I think they want 25 normally. Um, so, you know, to say things like that, it's like people, it's still their people's money. So yeah, I mean, you might want to say it's inexpensive or whatever, but to say, oh, it's no money. Oh, are you gonna send it to me for free? You know, but anyway, so I'll get off that soapbox. But um, I do want to try it out. Again, like I said, the next one in February, like I said, I probably am gonna skip it. So you probably won't see anything from me on that, but you will see me review the um, teapot and the flower pot because I think those are adorable. At the same time, they had a male set. So this is a female set, which is, weird uh was a car and then um no a car it was like a shirt like a hawaiian shirt and then they're gonna have like a little car and some other things i do like the car i didn't like the shirt one i thought it was kind of eh, not my style so I, I skipped on that but we'll see what happens um you know later on actually right now they launch them today well oh, i don't know when i'm gonna upload this uh on january 13th which is today but um they uh are selling these now on Crafters Companion. I think right now they want two for 50 with your, you know, 20% off of your platinum, that's two for 40. Um, and then, you know, they always just do all kinds of sales. So we'll see what happens. But this is the base die and it is a little thicker. So hopefully it doesn't mess up any of my dies as it goes through here. Cause a lot of times, you know, you have to kind of gauge that. Now this is pearl paper. Cause I'm gonna make this ridiculous. I figure if we're gonna do this, let's go for it. So I'm gonna make the card. And then I remember I have this glitter fabric sheet that I'll probably never use. So what I'm going to plan on doing is cut just the skirt part maybe with this. I don't know what I want to do, but I do want to incorporate some kind of fabric just so we can try this out a little more. So everything else is just extra little cute things that came with the um, stamps. So we have like little flowers and I think, yeah, that one has a, uh, a yeah, die for it. And then the smaller flower has a die. There's a black dot. That I'm not sure what it's for, but I will figure that out. Um, there isn't a die for it, but hmm. Just look at this. this is another little flower. And maybe it's just for polka dots. I don't know. That's what I'm telling you. Like I was trying to see inspiration, like find things about it, but not really. There's not much. There's like a little purse. That's just what it is. And you just fold it over. So hope you have like double sided paper or um, however you want to do that. Um, this little thing is like a glove, I guess, but it's like a fingerless glove is what it looks like. So just like something cute. So you cut out two of those. This piece is like a little waistband and then you can make a little bow which is really cute. The bow is adorable. So you want two of those and then you have the bow top. 
Um, sorry, my dryer's on right now. It sounds kind of loud. We have a shoe that doesn't have a, a stamp, so there's no any other decoration. And then there's like a little frill if you want to put that on the little um, neck piece there. So what I want to see is that this will go through the junior. Yes, it will. Okay. So I'm using this pink pearlescent paper, and this is close, not close to my heart. This is from Crafters Companion. I want to see if this is actually big enough. Ooh, just big enough. That's interesting. Maybe that's why they did that. So I'm going to fold this in half just by hand, but normally I would, um, what's the word? Bone fold it and actually use a tool for that. But, um, well, I will use my bone folder, but I would, uh, score it. Now, what's interesting about this is that this is Crafters Companion paper. So this is A3 size. So it's, I'm sorry, A4. So it's a little bit longer, I believe, than our paper. It's almost 12 inches, if not 12 inches. It's about the same width. So if you're going to do this with paper like American paper or paper sizes from the U.S., you're probably going to need to use a 12 by 12 piece of paper that you can fold in half. Because I don't see, well, maybe you can still use a regular piece of paper. It's just that you're going to have to have less of it. You know, I'm saying more of it out here, which is kind of odd. But um, because this is very little, it might just make it. But okay, I don't want to waste too much of this paper, and I also want to get to the Gemini Junior. So I'm going to eyeball this and just basically cut this down. Because if it says this wide, I can't get it through the Junior. I don't think. Uh, I guess I could get it through this way. Let me see. We're just experimenting here. Oh, okay, I'm not going to cut it yet. But if you want to, you can cut that extra piece. It's not going to hurt. So, for this thing, what you're going to do is line it up. And obviously, if your paper has a direction or anything, you're going to pay attention to that. You know, you don't want this crooked because obviously you don't want it crooked anyway. But um, I'm going to line it up as close as I can to the edge so I don't waste too much paper. But on the back side, you just want a little, a little nick, a little bit of this still sticking out. Okay? So it doesn't cut. So that little piece that's sticking out is not going to cut and hopefully you can see what I'm doing. A little bit of that cutting edge is just hanging out the back here. Okay and I just want to make sure we're good. And I'm going to use a little piece of low tack tape and I always laugh when I say that because it's very tack tape. I think it's just regular scotch tape. But if you really need it to be low tack just kind of touch it a lot or wipe like apply it to like your shirt or something so that it gets a little bit of that tackiness taken off but it is Crafters Command low tack tape. Okay I'm gonna put this right on here. It fit like a glove right there and still when Sarah cut this she cut it with the same what they always do but I'm gonna do metal and magnetic and what I had seen her do was still also the plastic one. And then we have our second cutting plate on top. Let me see if this is plugged in. Perfect. I was hoping I could run it through the Anna Griffin, but there's no way. The mini. See? Ooh, okay. I had to really give it a push, guys. So that is really snug. Maybe you don't need the metal cutting plate. Something, it's going, but. What do we have here? Yeah, it cut through and it even cut a little bit of the cutting plate there. So I want to show you what we have here. So this is your base. It did make a line on it. I guess if you don't like that, you can turn it over and use the other side, but then that's, you know, the way it is. I don't like that either. So when you open it up, the card stands up on its own, which is nice. I mean, it, it does. And be careful, like I said, that you want it to just lose a little piece, like right here. I don't think I moved it enough. Look at how tiny that is. It might rip. And over here, that's pretty good. So maybe next time I'll leave a little bit more of the cutting edge um, out here. You know what I'm saying? So to cut less of it off of here. Does that make sense? But you guys already saw the clearance we had. It wasn't much. But what I'm trying to say is like pop it up a little more. Not so, so much like this is exaggerated, right? But just a little more. Just a little more so that we have more hinge. Okay. So we got that. Now that's our base card. I'm going to put it to the side. I am going to cut some of this. Um, I got this basically for, I was there for free, right? But no, it was in a bundle. Um, and I always thought, well, how am I going to use this? You know, that came from Crafters Companion. It was one of their like mystery things, even though at the time it wasn't a mystery because they told you what you were going to get. And I kind of want it 
to, um, I think I want it to be frilly. Oh man, we're gonna be adding a lot of, <laughs> I don't know. So uh, let me cut out one layer of this. Kinda see where I'm at. Ooh, let me get it right here, okay. And I might cut out two layers because that way I can kind of ruffle it. This is kind of what I would want to do. So we'll see what happens, but I just want to cut this and see if it works. Throw that all on the floor. And, okay. I kind of made this a little, oopsie. Oh, and you know what you can do, oopsie. Is when you go to cut it, if you're, you know, trying to save space, you do this one this way and then flip it and do the other one the other way. That way it all fits in here. You can kind of fit it in kind of snug. I'm trying to keep this on my cutting surface here. And I hope you see, I have a little bit, like I'm not going all the way up to the dress. I'm just trying to make sure I have enough there. This is kind of thick. I'm gonna leave the metal cutting plate out and hopefully that'll still be okay. And their magnetic mat isn't worth <laughs> a darn thing. It doesn't even, like if you use the uh, Anna Griffin one and you put that magnetic mat right on your die, it sucks the die up, right? Cause it's so strong. This one, I don't even think it's really classified as a magnetic mat, to be honest. Let's see if that cut. Hopefully that cut, because I don't want... What was that? Ew. <laughs> I thought I saw some kind of... Maybe the moth. Yeah, so I'm going to cut out one more. I think... I don't know. It's not very... Maybe not. You know why? I don't. It's super thick. This stuff. It has a weird like plastic backing. I don't think it's uh, soft enough to to frill it up if I really wanted to. So let's just leave it like this. And um, but if you wanted another layer, I would cut another layer, and then you would kind of try to stick them together so that they get really frilly together. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that because it's not soft enough to just kind of play with that way. Okay. Um, let me look at the options that we have here. Oh, let's make a pink bow. So I'm gonna use the bow piece. I'm gonna cut out one of these. I'm gonna cut out two of these um, of that same um, stuff. And then I'm also gonna cut out one of these guys. Why not? Just to see what this looks like. So let me grab my scraps. I think I can put some stuff in this scrap area. This is pretty big. So this one wants to take up the whole area. That's fine where you wanna use it up. And then this little skinny guy and this little guy. I bet you this little guy I can cut from here. That way we're using every area. If you feel like you need to tape it down, of course, do that. I'll probably use this area for another one of those. We need two of them. And this last weird bit over here. Hopefully, ooh, it's just right. I think <laughs> we will see. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, so I'm going to run this through. Same sandwich, which is... The uh, magnetic mat, the plastic shim, and then the two cutting plates, and I will be right back. Okay, guys, we have all our pieces. Let me put these. I think we're done cutting. Um, cause only because I'm not gonna. I mean, like you said, there's all these little flowers. Obviously, you would just line that up. The dots again, and maybe they're just to put dots on the dress. I don't know. You guys can let me know. And then it has some words, so um, we'll have to figure out how we're gonna put our sentiment on here, because that's one thing I didn't plan for yet. But we have our base skirt here. Let me put on one more light. I don't know what happened in the middle. In the middle of doing this stuff, the lighting changed. Okay, that's better. Um, again, you know, I would do a better job of doing that inner part or the very top so it doesn't cut off on me. Uh, there's a couple things we need to do. So let's stick this down. I think that's a good spot. Obviously, that's where it goes. It's pretty. It looks great. Let's use this stuff. There's the Kalal um, all-purpose glue, I think is what they call this one. I might have made the bow first, and maybe I need to use hot glue for the bow because it's fabric, and I don't know how it's going to end up working, but we will see. And really, it doesn't have to be really, really stuck down. I guess it'd be kind of cute to give it some motion, but that's okay. I'm going to just put some glue there. You know, I think if you want to, you can give it a little a little something just to give it some movement, but that's okay. So if I did cut out two, what I was going to do is like scrunch it up and then put the other one and scrunch it up so that it would be like one piece. You know what I'm saying? Like just fluffier, a lot fluffier. <laughs> and then we're going to glue this guy down at the top. And I'm going to put the glue on here because I don't know where it's actually going to touch. So this is just like completely sparkly, sparkly. Like that. 
cute. I love that already. And then we're gonna put our bow together. So I should have turned around one of my um, dies. To be honest, I should have cut it on the white side of the fabric so that way there's a bow going one way and one going the other way. Um, I totally forgot to do that so they're both going the same direction. And then usually there's a little tie that goes on top of this. Do they have a die for that? Nope. So usually when you have a little bow like this, you do this kind of thing and then there's like a little piece on top here, right? But for this one, I guess maybe because it's so small, they're like, ah, just forget it. So what I'm gonna do is, <laughs> I'm gonna have to hold on to this as I work on it. No, oh, come on. So we're gonna turn one side in and there's tons of dies that are like this little bow. So basically at the very tip, I don't know if you can see, it has like a little notch. All you're doing is turning that in. And I'm just gonna hold on to it till it's dry because I don't want it to come apart. And then when it's dry, we're gonna stick it on top of this guy. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna hold on to this for, you know, a little okay, while. Okay, so this is kind of small, but I guess if you really wanted to, you can make your own little strip to go in the middle because it kind of bothers me that there's not a strip there. But so we're gonna look at it and see how you want this place like that. Or like, do you want these guys bunched up more together or just put one on one side, one on the other? You know what I'm saying? Like if you want it more spread out like this, or you want them kind of overlapping each other. And then this on top. It's cute either way. I do kind of like it out further, but um, I'm just gonna do it this way for now. So I'm gonna put a little glue. Hopefully you can kind of see what I'm doing because this is <laughs> a very, very small thing to work with. Put a little glue there. And a little glue on the back of this just to get some extra. Come on. This glue dries super clear, so that's nice, but all right. So I'm gonna let that ooh, dry for a little while and then we'll add it to our card. Okay, and this has tons of cute, oh, well, it's still drying. I figured we should stamp and I probably should use stays on or something like that because I don't know how well this paper receives ink. So I'm just gonna take this little piece off because it's a little extra bit that's on this other side here. But yeah, I just, I, I don't know. Ooh, look how dirty it got when I ran through because it was really tight. So whatever was on my cutting plate, it like stuck to the back of this, which is actually on the back of the card too. But anyway, um, so like I said, you should use stays on or something like that. I'm just gonna use right now the alcohol ink, um, alcohol proof dye ink that I always use to just finesse here, but I would use something that's gonna dry kind of quickly and stick really well. And I don't know what I want to do. I, maybe be fabulous, because these other things are not something that I'm going to use anytime soon. Maybe thank you, but it's your day shine bright. It's cute. But I'll just do be fabulous, and then we're just going to cut it out and stick it to the dress. And I'm just going to, like I said, stamp on that pink. But if you want, you know, zhuzh it up any way you like. Do I have enough fab? Yep, all right, perfect. So... Again, this is an acrylic stamp. Somebody asked me if I can do a video talking about acrylic stamps versus photopolymer stamps, so I will do that very soon, probably this week, because I'm always liking when people have requests. <laughs> Let me back up a little bit. I don't know why this frame is so tight. Okay, let's try this, and if it doesn't work, we're gonna turn this over and do it again. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. So this is an acrylic cheap material, right? Acrylic. I mean, it's the stuff you get on AliExpress or anywhere else or whenever you see like dollar stamps. Um, and normally when you stamp with them, they can be difficult to stamp with, but I've always found whenever it's just like words, it's easier because they're very thin lines and you can go, but you got to stamp it pretty quickly because if you wait, it starts beating up and then it looks really bad. So you kind of just got to get your stamp going. I don't know what I want to do with this. So I'm just going to cut it straight away, just like this. I should probably use, um, a paper trimmer so it's nice and straight but for now I'm just going to try to do my own thing here Ugh, these scissors are so short I like longer scissors so you can just do one quick thing this is very very tight I don't know maybe I should outline it in black paper oh you can outline it with that same sparkly but I kind of wanted this to stand away from the sparkle since we're using it but I would totally do something different than this but this is what we're, we're going with today okay um I'll say maybe I can still zhuzh this up somehow, but I don't think so. Maybe just a little, a little something in here. I'm trying to do like a dovetail. That's the worst dovetail in the world, but that's okay. I'm gonna do that on the other side. It's probably gonna be crooked compared to the other one, but that's what we're doing here. Again, if you have like a cute die that does like a 
something like that. That'd be cute. Okay, so I'm just going to zhuzh it up a little bit. Now I think we're ready to continue and we'll be done with this card. And then I'll show you real quick how you can use any other thing to make yourself a card, which is the oldest trick in the book. So it's not anything I think you guys don't already know, but we'll do that. And then we're going to put this little guy here. Now I'm thinking maybe I should have used like the little... This thing that cuts out like a little band. So we did that in the pink. It would be cute, but I'm not going to do it. But that would be, you know, adding a little more detail. Ooh, maybe like a black. No, because if I did black and then still have this glitch, like um, shimmery, that doesn't really work. I just realized it sounded like I said a bad word. Sorry, I, did. <laughs> I put two words together and it did not come out right. All right, here we go. Although I'm no stranger to bad words, I just try not to say them on my videos. All right, here we go. Aww. That's really cute. But again, if you want some differentiation, a little black band, something else would be cute there. And then we are going to stick this on here somewhere. And I think, again, we'll use some of this and some regular. So the regular one I always put like here because that's what's going to touch the card. I put it here and I put it at the end. And then this 3D, you can either push out a hunk of it and then use like a tool to help you with that. Ooh, is it drying? I did not close this very well. My goodness. Uh, uh. <laughs> Here it comes. This stuff is ridiculous. Tight, especially right now that it's cold. Like the weather is pretty chilly. I'm going to have to clear that out. I'm going to use this to help me take this out. Ah, bummer. That's not what I wanted, but we can still use it. You want to put a hunk of this 3D glue gel because it'll stay kind of puffy. And I'm just going to put it down in this corner over here. So of course I need to wait for all this to dry and I'll have some pictures for you guys. But that's pretty cute. Be fabulous because this is fabulous. I mean, this is very, very glittery. I'll, of course, I'll, like I said, I'll have pictures for you. You know, you can still do another sentiment on the inside or just write whatever you're going to write there. Maybe add a little gift card at the bottom there. That'd be cute. Put, make like little tabs for it. Um, okay, let me get another die and I'll show you how to just make a die or a card out of any other die you might have. Okay, it took me a little while to decide what I want to use for this purpose, but um, I figured we should use some Gemini dies, right? It's the same thing. And then I had gotten these and I don't, like I said, I don't even know if I already have these from before because these were on super like sale. Like I think they wanted eight or nine dollars for three sets of these nesting dies. And I'm like, so even if I don't have this heart and I had the other two that came with it, like that's fine. And I'm gonna use the rest of the paper because that way it's same paper, same stuff. We'll see what happens. Um, this does have a little detail that might make it a little more difficult because it's not just a flat edge or just a basic edge. But let me see if this bigger heart fits. If it doesn't, we'll go with something else. Oh, it does. And this is a very thin die. Oh my gosh, I've never touched them, <laughs> I guess. Because uh, I have the rest of their nesting dies. That is really thin. Kind of scary. But it shouldn't be a problem. Okay. So we're going to use the same paper. Same stuff. Same sandwich. So let's start with our cutting plate. I have been using these cutting plates for... Since I opened this thing. Look at this. And... They're not really warped. I know a lot of people have problems with warping or I don't know if it's a problem because when you shove it through, it's not going to hurt anything. But um, I don't know what to tell you. Like maybe I'm just using them very gently. Um, so again, our heart, we're going to leave it peeking over just a little bit, right? Uh, maybe a little more than that. I want it to be a little more dramatic. But there, okay? So you can still see some of this back there. I'm going to turn this over and hopefully I don't move it while I get some of my tape. I hold it and try and do this with one hand, basically. And I'm just going to tape that down. Now that I have some tape on one side, I'll use this leftover tape from the other piece that I had on here to tape this other side, just so there's no real movement on that. And it looks like it'll fit going this way, so that's good. I am going to use the metal shim because I want it the same thickness. Plastic shim and the magnetic shim, okay? They're all, this, they're all there. And we'll do this guy and we'll see what happens because I've been able to do this, but again, this is like a specialty paper, so it might be a little. We'll see if it cuts through. It should. I don't know. So, like I said, the die is definitely thicker, so that's, you know, added value, added cost to that. 
Oh, look at that. <laughs> um, pretty good. I mean, hopefully you can see, maybe you can see on this other one, the dress did cut through, right? It cut through enough that it etched the dress on here. The heart is right here. I can see it etched in there too. So it went through the paper and went through enough to actually etch into the cutting plate. Now let's see the proof is in the pudding or something like that. I'm not really sure what that saying means. Look at that. I didn't get the tackiness off and it's already peeling some of the pink layer off of this paper. But um, I guess it's not super easy to make puddings. <laughs> so <laughs> if it sets up, I don't know. But here we go. And again, remember this one had a little specialty edge to it. Okay, you see my tape was, but that's all right. And there it is. Now you have a heart shape. Oh, and it cut through both, even the etching, the little um, stitching. That's pretty good, in my opinion. And it went through the machine pretty easily. So there you have that. And now you have these nesting dies that you can decorate with, you know, the next layer. Maybe you want to cut this one and then just nestle that right in there. And you have a little heart shaped um, card. Again, you can just cut out this whole thing and put it on top, so that way it's the complete heart at the very top. But you can do it with anything, a circle. A, a square might not be as nice because if it has a detail too, because the top edge won't have that. But if you just have a basic square, again, just leave that whole square edge off the top and it'll cut the sides for you. A rectangle, whatever shape you have, it'll be all good. And um, you can get a lot more versatility with your dies that way. Even an intricate die, like if it was, well, like that little teapot one I keep mentioning, I don't know where I put it, but like you can leave it off the edge or off the side edge, right? If you want your little teapot and if it was easier to leave a little bit of the handle off, run it through and then you still have your dies, you know, your stamps and everything else to decorate with. So think about how, you know, different ways to do that and it'll work most of the time. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.